hi guys welcome to my channel this is inky culture today i'll be showing you how to make abaya or a cow dress and this type of dress you need three yards of fabric and you need a shaky or a fabric that is not heavyweight fabric you need a lightweight and fabric to make it form the cow very well so here i am i have folded into four so i don't want to dismantle what i have um, folded so i will not scatter it i will just let it remain like this so you fold into four just fold all your three heads into four and before i proceed i want to appreciate all our subscribers thank you and then those that have haven't subscribed i implore you to subscribe because a lot awaits you on this channel and then um, we are not going to disappoint you so let's get back to work here you're going to take the shoulder measurement divided by two and then um, your shoulder measurement divided by two in this case this is 15 inches shoulder measurement divided by two which is seven and a half then afterwards you take the dress length and add the sewing allowance of um, one and a half the hemming allowance of one and a half inch and then um, sewing allowance on the shoulder half inch that's two inches will be added to your dress length and here the next thing you will take is your sleeve length i just took my sleeve length here sleeve length seven inches here to here is the sleeve length seven inches so you can make it more it depends on the the length you want but seven inches will be lovely and it will be it will achieve the picture you just saw and then um, you can take your measurement from your center back towards the sleeve length that you want and input it like so and afterwards you're going to input your arm opening this is where your arm will come out and that will take you're going to put your round sleeve measurement your upper arm round sleeve measurement that's what you will put there then you had like one inch is to hit because this is a free dress so this place will not be stitched it will be open that is where the arm will come out and um, the rest will form the cow so the rest what is remaining here will form the cow and then um, this is the sleeve length i just label it so that there won't be a mix up and this will be the neck so i'm going to input the neck neck circumference here so the next circumference i'm using for a medium sized person three and a half width and then four inches depth three and a half inch and four inches depth so this type of dress is simple and classy you can make it in just 20 minutes the cutting and the sewing you can do that in 20 minutes so but if you are a beginner i think one hour will be you'll be done with it so here you are going to input your hip measurement divided by two hip circumference divided by two then i added three inches is allowance here but two inches will be fine at the end of the sewing i still converted it to two inches because i want something that is a little bit smarter so two inches extra is allowance is done is okay for anybody so i will now connect it you can see the way i'm connecting it to the shoulder line so it will be in form of a triangle you just connect it up deviate your hand to the side like so then the neck is being cut out now i have cut the this is i will put a round neck then from there i'm going to cut out through the m line of the dress like so then i'll cut through to the shoulder line like so i'll just cut through there's no special measurement it's something simple and then um, even the beginner can make it so you just cut through i sorry the camera could not capture that please right now but by the time i draw it closer you'll be able to see where the line ends so you just cut it through to the end of your fabric there and this is the neckline and then um, you can see the camera I, I i pull it now for you to see where it ends where the shock ends so just end it up like so and then um, we are done with the we are almost through with the cutting the next thing i'm going to do is to notch the arm opening i needed to notch it so that i will know that i'm not going to see, stitch this part this part will be left open because this is where the arm will come out so i'm not going to stitch it uh, i notch it 
I, I'm going to leave it open, but there is a way I will stitch it. I will show you when we get to the sewing machine. So, here now, just notch by half inch, notch it inward, and um, we are done with the cutting. Let's go to the sewing machine. The first thing I'm going to do here is I will join the shoulder. I'm going to join the shoulder through to the sleeve length. From the neckline, I will join to the sleeve length and I will leave the arm opening. The arm opening that, that I told you about, I will leave it open. And when I get here also, I will stitch through to the hem line of the dress. So, and that's what I want to do right away. I will be placing the right side of the dress on the right side of each other, the right side of the back. Any part can be the back, any one of the block can be the back and any one can be the front. So, you can see the way I even fold the dress such that the design falls at the center the center design design on the on the dress falls at the center and that depends on you when you are folding it just stitch through to the arm opening and reverse your stitch leave it open and then um, start your sewing again at this point then this at this point you are going to continue the sewing through to the hem line of the dress i hope you get that you're going to continue the sewing through to the hem line of the dress this is the part that i told you is the remaining part that will form the cow so you're going to continue that through to the hem line of the dress stitch by half inch through to the hem line of the dress i, I believe you know this is the, the the wrong side of the dress this is the wrong side so when you get here this is the other side i'm stitching the other side so because i just fast forward that please that's why you did not see this is the other side i'm done with one side i have gotten to the m line and i'm starting the another side from the m line i'm stitching towards the shoulder so i hope you get that i'm stitching this part towards the shoulder so and when I get to the sleeve opening, I'm going to reverse also and leave the sleeve opening open so that the arm will be able to come out here. So I'll continue stitching through. I'm trying to check whether the, the, the needle is catching the one underneath. So I'm going to stitch through. I've almost gotten to the sleeve opening. The notch is there. So I'm going to reverse where there is chalk. I will reverse the stitch. And after I reverse the stitch, um, then I will still continue from the next um, notch. I will continue the sewing from the next notch. You can see I have left the space for that sleeve opening. I will continue from the, this, this notch. I will reverse. Make sure you reverse when, when you get to the notch. Make sure you reverse it. So I'm going to continue from there through to the neckline through to the neckline so i'm going to remove any excesses and trim anything that is inaccurate so here this is the m line of the dress this is the m line of the dress so i'm going to fold it up you can see the way i folded it up and i'm going to stitch through so I'm starting from here and I'm going to hand my stitch here. So I will go, I will stitch through and um, end it where I started. You can see the way I'm hemming the, the hem line. I'll just stitch it. I folded it up because the hemming allowance that I left here is um, one and a half inches and that's what I'm using. So I'll go ahead and do this. And when I, I I get to where I started from, I will reverse the stitch at that point. Just do it carefully and neatly, and we are going to arrive at the same result. We are going to arrive at the same result. So I'm almost there where I started from. So when I get there, I'm going to reverse the stitch on that point. I will reverse the stitch so I'm done with the the hemline of the dress and um, 
I can go ahead and give it a nice press for it to lay well. So I'll come to the neckline. So I needed to finish the neckline. So what I will use for the finishing of the neckline is a bias tape. So I'll be folding it up, fold it up. First of all, fold it by half an inch and um, I'll place it on the neckline. You can place it anywhere on the neckline. You can place it anywhere on the neckline. Then the sewing allowance on the there is, is there is a sewing allowance on the bias tape, which is quarter of an inch. Then I will sew through the sewing allowance. I will let it catch the neckline on that same allowance also on the neckline. I will continue the stitching. I will stitch through to where I started from. So then when I get to where I started from, I will mount it a little. I will climb it a little by maybe half an inch just for it to have a finished look at that point. So I will use the bias to mount it a little, like half an inch. I hope you get that. Then I will cut the extra. I'm going to cut this off and fold it since this is the right side so we are turning it to the wrong side so I'll be turning the bias tape to the wrong side right now to do the finishing I hope you can see that so I'll be turning to the wrong side right away and on the wrong side I'll stitch very close to the tip of the bias i'm going to stitch it very close to the tip of the bias so i'll continue doing that so as i'm doing this i'm finishing up the neckline and when i'm through with this part i'll go ahead and um, press the neckline very well so i'll stitch very close to the tip of the neckline like so very close to the tip of the neckline I'm going to stitch very close to the tip of the neckline like so and I'm going to end my stitch where I started from so I'll be ending my stitch here I hope you can see how neat it is this is the wrong side that has the bias and this is the right side you can see so I can give it a nice press right now. So the next thing to do when I'm done with this neckline is to go to the sleeve opening. We cannot leave the sleeve opening rough like that. We are going to finish that line also. And then um, all we are going to do is to fold it up and stitch it. So I'll be folding it twice. So look at how I'll do that. You know there is a notch there already so i'll be using the notch folding it up from the notch and um, you can see how the first folding and the second folding then i will stitch it through from one notch to another so i'll be doing that right away so i'm doing this from one notch to another see how i'm doing that the folding i'll be stitching to the tip of the fold so right now i'm almost done with this part i will reverse my stitch here and cut the extra thread so we have gotten to the end of the tutorial the dress is ready so I hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned one thing or the other. Don't forget to subscribe, like and also share this video. This is the outcome of the dress and this is how it is. You can rock it to party, you can rock it anywhere. It is very simple and easy to make. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye.